Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Selamat siang adik-adik Bertemu lagi dengan Kak Etna Hari ini Kak Etna akan membawakan cerita baru yang berbahasa Inggris Judulnya Let's Find a Dragonfly Ayo mencari capung Ayo siapa yang suka menangkap capung Nah biasanya adik-adik berhasil atau tidak menangkap capungnya Kalau... Dua orang yang akan kakak ceritakan berhasil tidak ya menangkap capungnya? Kita cari tahu bersama-sama yuk. Nah, cerita Let's Find a Dragonfly ini ditulis oleh Kak Sri Widyawati Kinasi dan digambar oleh Kak Nabila Adani. Christmas class has been learning about nature. The teacher tells the class they have a special homework assignment over the weekend. They will be observing insects. The children are excited to get started. They pick partner and start talking about the project. Trishna's partner is her friend, Sukma. Let's visit grasshoppers, Trishna suggests. But Sukma has a different insect in mind. She wants to observe dragonflies. Such beautiful dragonflies. Trisna loves this idea. So many dragonflies to observe. She reaches into the sky to try to catch one. Oops, she missed it. Will she catch one? Success! Trishna grabs a dragonfly in her hand. Its legs tickle her finger. She giggles as she lets it go. Why don't we try a net? Sukma suggests. But Trishna shakes her head. She's worried that they might harm the dragonflies if they use a net to catch them. A boy from their class approaches. Catching dragonflies, huh? I know how to get them. He, the boy says brightly. He pins the dragonfly's wing. Oh no, that could hurt the dragonfly too. The boy lets go of the dragonfly's wing when Trishna asks. He did not realize he could hurt the dragonfly. Phew, it can still fly just fine, says Sukna. Look, there is a spider web, Trishna says, pointing. That gives me an idea. Let's make a racket, Trishna suggests. This one? No, no, not that kind, Sukma. We will make it out of banana leaf and a bamboo stick. And then we can use the spider web for its net. We did it! A dragonfly has four wings. Its body is divided into multiple segments. It has big eyes with a lot of lens, and it has thick legs, so a dragonfly is categorized as an insect. Fly away, dragonfly! Thank you for helping us understand you. Nah, akhirnya mereka melepaskan kembali capung itu supaya capung-capung tetap dapat berkembang biak di alam bebas dan tidak merusak populasinya. Adik-adik tahu tidak kalau capung itu sangat berperan penting loh dalam menjaga keseimbangan ekosistem khususnya di pertanian karena capung akan memakan hama yang mengganggu tanaman. Itulah tadi cerita dari Let's Find a Dragonfly. Adik-adik masih ingat tidak apa saja sih ciri-ciri dari serangga capung? Kalau masih ingat boleh ditulis di kolom komentar ya. Sekian cerita hari ini. Sampai jumpa di cerita berikutnya Jangan lupa like, subscribe, dan komen Dadah